Hey everyone, Social Solipsist here for another episode of 52 and 52, and this week we're taking a look at Dungeon of the Endless, um, which is a game that I've had in my library for quite a while now, actually, um, and only actually started up for the first time because my friend Spencer had picked it up on the recent sale, um, realized that there was multiplayer, and we decided we'd give it a shot. Um, I've also been playing it a little bit single player. I thought I'd jump into this and show it to you and talk about it a little bit. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Um, it may tip you off immediately, but uh, it's sort of a roguelike um, dungeon crawler type of thing uh, in a vague sort of way. It doesn't really fall very specifically into a certain... Um, genre so we'll get into that a little bit um, you start out the game well let me let me say first this game is hard as hell <laughs> it's really hard um, so you start on easy I'm gonna go with too easy because even too easy is too hard for me um, and yeah you'll you'll see uh, you get to pick your characters to start out with um, you normally start out with two um, I am going to pick sort of a heavy duty guy and uh, let's go with somebody who's a little bit quick but not a whole lot of health um, let's go with Sarah okay Gork and Sarah are going to uh, this is their uh, their ship that they've um, they're they're ejecting from and uh, they're gonna crash we're going to start. Every time you start a new game, it starts this way. So you're exploring some ruins, presumably. So this is your ship. This is your escape pod. Um, this is your little, uh, your little crystal here on the left. And uh, we're going to go exploring. The idea is to get your crystal to uh, the end of each each level, and you can zoom out to see as you explore. Um, so, uh, Gork here is heavy duty, moves pretty slowly, but has a lot of health and does a lot of damage. Um, Sarah moves quickly, does a decent amount of damage, but doesn't have a whole lot of health. Um, as you open up new rooms, different rooms will have different things. Some of them have... Uh, some of them are just like this, they don't really have anything active in them. Um, some of them are lit up with an uh, with a module already in them, we'll get to that in a minute. And um, other times you'll get just a room full of enemies. Um, any room that is dark uh, can spawn enemies, um, so you need to be aware of that. But it's a balancing act between lighting up rooms um, and keeping your resources in check. So. Uh, we are going to light this room, and you light this room, um, granted, don't take everything I say as 100% factual, I'm still sort of new to this game and learning it, so I may say some things that are off, but um, to light a room, uh, you put a module in it of some kind, either a, uh, a major module like one of these, a science creator, industry creator, or food replicator, um, which produce one of your three resources that you use to spend on various things. Um, or you can put in uh, offensive or defensive um, minor modules uh, that will either help you uh, defend the area or some such thing. Um, I am going to put an industry generator in this first room um, just so we can get started on getting some building resources so that we have industry to build with as we move further into rooms. Um, now this is semi turn based, but it's also somewhat real time. So as you move, each time you move into a, uh, a new room, it counts as sort of a turn. Um, and that, that's how it calculates certain things like um, payout from modules like this one or uh, other such things. But as you'll see once we get into combat, the combat is um, re real time. And there are various other things that are also real time. Um, so I can select either of the characters um, at any given time and control them separately. They don't have to wait for each other. Um, but it is a balancing act of uh, trying to make sure that 
Nobody's getting themselves into too much trouble. Sarah can handle this guy on her own, so we're gonna um, hold out here. Um, and this is a dead end, nothing in this room, but it can still spawn enemies, don't forget. Um, I think this is just cosmetic, but... Um, typically I use my fast person as an explorer um, and let uh, the kind of burly guy stand back and, and handle defense. Um, but that's just my dumb strategy that I'm doing uh, starting out. Um, both of them have special abilities as well. Um, he has a uh, thing that gives him additional attack power and additional speed. Um, and they're all on cooldowns. Uh, and she has, what is this? Uh, just a speed boost. So mostly for running around and either getting, out, probably getting out of combat most of the time. Um, so because this uh, room does not have anything in it, it can spawn things. Um, these small dots on the floor are places that I can put minor modules. I am going to put in um, a prisoner pod here, uh, which will help me defend the room. Actually, I'm going to put one in this room instead. Um, I'm not super worried. Uh, so, like I said, you've got to manage your resources somewhat. Um, as you can see, I'm taking in industry at 11 a turn, um, science at 3 a turn, and food at, at 6 a turn, um, and I've got certain stocks. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's a whole, that's a whole management thing that is probably more nuance that I'm giving it credit for. Okay, so this room's already lit. Um, as you notice, compared to this one that lit up when I added a module to it, this one's already lit. Um, I do have the option to add modules if I want to, um, uh, but I don't think I'm going to do that right away. Um, I do sort of want to find out... I'm not entirely clear on whether the, the, the look of a door gives any indication as to um, what type of room is behind that door because they they do have doors that look a little different from each other so um, And as far as I'm aware rooms that you do not explore uh, Cannot hurt you. So it's a balancing act between um, ex exploring to uh, unlock things and stuff like that versus um, Opening up new places for yourself to get attacked from so there's, uh, there's definitely, you know, okay, so you see we're getting, we're now getting, um, things spawning in these various rooms, and I'm gonna go play Defender. In fact, I'm going to add some more, um, defensive modules here to help us out. Um, and as soon as you get out of combat, your health regens all the way. Um, if you're in combat and you're trying to, uh, heal someone up, you can do so by uh, spending food resources. Um, I'll show you if we ever have to do that. Hopefully we won't have to on this first floor. This is turning into more of a tutorial than a, a normal video, but so be it. Um, I can also spend my science to uh, get new modules, things like that. Um, I don't think I want any of these right now. I just sort of want to get through this. This probably isn't going to be a very good run, but that's fine. Because um, if it was a good run, it'd be kind of long. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Oh, we just unlocked a bunch of free science. Okay, I've never had that happen before, but I'll take it. I'm going to put a science creator in here, actually. Um, give us a bit of an upgrade there. And I'm worried about this room over here. Oh, yeah, now we've got shit spawning again. Um, can they take care of that room? Yeah, the defense will take care of that room. That's fine. Um, I do sort of want to put a module in this room that I'm right on top of. I've realized I can see in my OBS window that you guys aren't able to see my cursor, which is kind of a problem, but not a whole lot I can do about that right now. Um, hopefully you shouldn't need to too much, but 
it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna build food replicator. Um, and then these can be destroyed, by the way, your major modules. Um, so it behooves you to defend them in some capacity, whether it's on your own or some other such thing. Oh, another empty room, it looks like. Oh, no, that's okay. So this is the room we have to get to. Um, I could explore more, but I really don't think I'm going to. Um, so I'm going to run her back down to the crystal. Um... And we're going to play it from there. It's going to be fun. So once she picks that up, um, we're going to start getting attacked. It's a race to the finish. Now because she is a quick character, she moves everything a lot faster than he would if he was carrying. He moves at a fucking snail's pace. So um, we're really just, we don't want to fight this shit out. We just want to get out of here. Um, so as soon as he's in the room, yeah, goodbye, and we're moving on to the next floor. Now admittedly, um, exploring additional rooms does mean additional turns on the floor, which means additional resources being gained by the modules you built. Um, so the more you invest in modules, the more worthwhile it is to stick around and chance it, I guess. Um, although it... it uh, Kind of goes both ways, and there's this little di these little dialogues that go on between the characters, um, between uh, um, between the floors, but it's mostly gameplay focused, honestly. Um, and you do have to defend this thing, by the way. I don't know if that if that wasn't already clear, I, that that is the case. Um, all right. We're going to put down another industry generator in here. And keep on exploring. Oh, okay. Here's a uh, here's a merchant. Oh, wait, no, it's not a merchant. It's um, somebody we can recruit for our team. So you can you can spend um, your stack of food uh, to heal, to hire people, and um, to level people up. Um, and so splitting your resources that way can be uh, a bit of a tricky situation. I am going to recruit this person. Um, it's worthwhile to have a full team. As far as I'm aware, you can only ever have a team of four, but I mean, I've never gotten far enough to confirm that. So uh, I could be wrong. All right, we do have a lot of people in combat right now, which is not great. Oh, fuck. Okay, Sarah's dead. Uh, which, yeah. Um, not super thrilled about. I am going to heal this person. Um, it's not two, it's only, I think it's only three to heal people, but doesn't make it any more fun to do. Um, we're gonna put another module in this room and then set up defenses in it. Let's make it a food replicator. Um, I'm not gonna invest any more into science just because I know how I expect this run to go and how I want this run to go and I'm not gonna invest too heavily into it. Um, downside of losing Sarah is that we no longer have somebody quick to move the um, just pick something up what did we get a toothpick okay oh fuck well she's got some help at least um, uh, what was I saying I don't even remember Um, let's put another module down, keep an eye on her health while we do that. Uh, 
unfortunately she is um, heavily armored and somewhat well equipped uh, so we should be all right and this is also a dead end which is good um, so you'll notice uh, this room has lit up because it is connected between two it's between two rooms that are lit up I don't understand everything about how that whole thing works but I have noticed that that seems to be the case quite oh no you go here you go here since everything else is pretty well locked down at least oh uh, okay this is a merchant, but we're in combat, so... Um, nope, 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 nope. Oh, fuck, I didn't put any defense in this room. So, our crystal's getting injured right now. Which is fine, we'll handle it. Um, I am gonna spend some more... So the per these, these little laser turrets only cost me... Uh, three to build, three um, production, and I'm making 14 a turn, so I don't feel too bad about dropping a bunch of them in. Um, so I can now potentially buy stuff from this guy. Happy pills, kitchen gloves, They are kind of pricey though. Um, eats out, it eats up a lot of my uh, production, so I'm not going to do that. Oh, well, there's the room. Okay. So. Um, we do have a pretty good line of defense to there. So. Let's get this show on the road, I guess. Um, actually, uh, let's look real quick. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Um, there we go, okay. Uh, I can upgrade people, but I mostly just wanted to see um, stats. Let's see, speed 18 and speed... 25. She's a bit faster, so I'm going to give her the crystal. She's still going to be slow, but um, better than the alternative. Meat, meat boy here. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Why, why were you not the one selected? Shit. You. So I'm really bad at RTS games, and <laughs> this isn't going well at all. Alright, let me heal them up. Alright, bro, you gotta get out of there. You gonna die. We're just booking it out of here as fast as we can. Fortunately, we don't take all those enemies that walked in there with us. That would have been bad. So I think the most... I've made it past... I think I've made it to floor four before, so this is actually a pretty pretty successful run. Um, all things considered. Put a module down and some defense. Those walls are covered in blood. 
I'm sure that's just fine. Um, let's drop another another module in here and some more defense. So I could be like waiting until I get to further away rooms and then lighting up the rest of the rooms like that, but I'm a little paranoid and not good at the game. So, you know, I don't think that well. I don't think that far ahead. What is this? I don't even know what that is. I think it's just a... Oh! No refunds. Fuck it, let's do it. Oh! Hey, a guy. Oh, I still gotta buy him. Fine. Fine, you're in. Somebody quick. Somebody really quick. Holy hell. the next best place to go. Let's just keep going on through. Oh, fuck. Nope. Get out of there. Get out of there. Uh, we're gonna drop some modules real quick. Fuck, he's about to die because he is super not great. So you see the rooms lit up on the way in um, because I dropped those modules. Worthwhile endeavor. Um, if I was being more patient I, and smarter about the way I play, um, I could probably get a lot further than I have in the past. Um, but currently the game has just sort of been something I pick up for a few minutes here and there for funsies. Oh, they're fine. Okay. Um, let's drop a module up here. More into... St oh, that's, those are only minor modules. Okay. Just light it up. It's enough. Although I could have just... Well, let's see what's in here. Meanwhile, uh... Okay. So there's our big one. Um... Yeah, let's run him back. Um... Let's walk around a little bit. It doesn't hurt to look around over here since we're bailing in the other direction. Oh, well, it might hurt. It might literally hurt, but it's okay. We can handle this fight, and the turrets will handle the rest of it. They should. Now I'm just getting, I'm getting greedy. I'm looking around too much. Hey, another merchant. Um, and they do buy with different stuff. Um, so this guy buys with science, and I haven't been spending it on anything else, so... Hmm. I still don't know enough. Okay, so you can look at the the icon next to the different things you can buy and then compare it with the icons um, on your various characters to see like what type of weapon they use. It's a little bit of a weird way to... It's a slightly obtuse way of doing it, but it works. Alright, I'm gonna have her run over. Um, 
get a head start on him because he's going to be even faster than her, I think. Even when walking. Alright, gonna move on. Oh, he's not as fast as I thought. Uh, where are you? Get over here. Help him out. We should be okay, but... Shit, shit, shit. You gotta live. You gotta live. Man, he is squishy as shit. Dude. Dude. Get out of there. Um, so my understanding is it is possible to leave people behind if you hit the button too early, if it's yellow instead of green. But, um, I haven't, uh... I've ruined runs doing that. This is a surprisingly successful run, and it means that this episode's gonna be really long, but you know what? That's fine. Um, I expected it to go like 10 minutes and me to make two floors, but I got a little bit too into uh, explaining the game. Um, but I think it gives a good point of reference because um, I'm still exploring it myself, and I'm having a good time exploring it, and uh, the depth that's here is, I think, should be pretty obvious, is not insignificant. Um, so it's definitely going to be something I come back to repeatedly. Um, let's build a module. And... One defense point. Two defense point. Three defense point. Ah, ah, ah. It's late. Leave me alone. Now, I could just back into this room, but I'm honestly too lazy. <laughs> she can handle it. She's got a big old gun and a big old suit. Um, and it's. I'm sure I'm screwing myself out of the later levels by not doing research into additional modules, but the starting modules have been okay thus far. And this is my best run yet. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's working out. Um, go ahead and do that. Build some more defense. I am uh, eating into my my um, stash a little bit, but if I explore enough, it should pay for itself. Um, and I could be exploring with the other guys at the same time, but like I said, I'm god awful at RTSs, so the idea of trying to manage two people at the same time is sort of not something I even want to consider. No, I'm not going to build something in this room. Never mind. Just keep going. Because there's only one entrance and one exit. Um, yeah. Here, though, I will build. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, I forgot about that. So it caught... I don't fully understand how it works out, but your, your dust, your gold, um, is required to light rooms. And it doesn't actually tell you, as far as I can tell, how much it costs to do so, so you end up... You end up an idiot, like me. <laughs> um, and I don't know if it's based on distance, or... Let's see, can I drop one in this room? Okay, so it is based on distance, it would appear. Can I put one in here now? Okay, what? But my dust didn't go down. Uh, hold on. Let me just read this since I'm an idiot and have never read it before. Oh! You can unpower a room? Shit, I'm learning th new things every day. Each unlocked mark gives you the ability to power one room. To un unlock a mark, you need 10 dust. To unpower, unpower a room, you need to use the middle mouse click. So... <laughs> okay. 
but I guess everything in the chain has to get lit up so something tells me this is still not gonna yeah so I need an extra block um, one of these blocks to make that all work I blame Spencer for not explaining that to me when we were playing. It's definitely his fault and definitely not just my fault for being an idiot. Well, that was some quick exploration. Um, hmm. I'm not still not going to do this. Um, well, time to explore some more, get some more dust. Alright, now I've got four. So I guess that resets, um... Your dust resets between floors? Is that... am I getting that right? I think that's what I'm seeing. Looks like we're gonna get some freebie science. And I don't think there's any way to do dust generation, um, but hell, what do I know? Um, can I drop a module in here just to light it up? Yep, alright. Moving on up. Um... Do I dare explore more? I think I do. This whole area down here is lit up, so I'm not worried about things spawning. Um, so I think I should go... go hunting. Pretty sure this breaks my... Um, record for this series in terms of length of video, but this is gonna go as long as I can go. Which, I say that now, but watch it be an hour and a half video or something totally ridiculous that I don't wanna, don't wanna have to subject you to. Okay, this is a really tiny f oh, okay. Um, I'm an idiot and didn't notice that there's doors, there's other doors, these red spots. Um, it can be hard to see those, is the excuse he gave to cover his ass. We'll take a look around. <laughs> we do have defense modules in the, in the room, so we'll be safe for a little bit. And I also don't know if it's a flat, if there's a flat amount that you receive um, per room for uh, opening a new room because you get a, a dust payout for every room but I honestly don't know what it is and we are getting wrecked it's okay we're gonna make it Okay, I can get a fourth guy. I have the stuff to do it. And I got an achievement. Cool. Presumably for having my team of four. Oh, and a merchant. Um, I could buy some equipment right now, but I don't want to... I don't want to make this go on for two hours. I'm going to intentionally sabotage myself. Um, in the name of making this video a reasonable length and not buy equipment.
Can I get another person? Can I get five? Oh, okay, yeah, I thought so. Only four. That's fine. All right. Um, I'm gonna move. Oh, actually, you know what you can do is you can take a look over here. While we gamble on whether the next, uh... Oh, you're getting wrecked. Never mind. Get over here. Oh, fuck, you're dead. Well, um, we might lose this right here and now, because our only defense is this fuckhead. With no health and no abilities. Get in here. Alright, well, now we have um, a slot open. Hey, you want to help out? I think this might be Sarah again, too, which is a little awkward. Did we kill your sister? I'm sorry. No, it's Dina. But I think, is that the same character portrait? It might be. Hold on. Nope. Never mind. Wait, is this it? Nurse Dina Ratchet. Nice reference, bro. Um, oh boy. Leaving all these dark scares me because it means if they all pop at the same time, uh, we're going to get up just totally flooded. So I'm not going to risk any more... Um, any more... Uh, open doors. We're gonna try and get out of here in a timely fashion. Alright, bro. You ready? Let's get out of here. Help him out. Help him out, give him a little defense. Alright, we're almost there, almost there. This is going to be a record for me. I made it through level 4. Shit. I was under the impression going into this video that I was going to have to talk about the fact that I think it's way too hard. Well, I already mentioned it briefly, but I'm doing super well compared to my previous runs, which is very unusual. I sorta... I there's a tiny bit of me that wants this, uh, this video to go an hour and a half for no reason. Actually, we're going to build a food generator since that's what we're really running low on. This four-way split from the main room also concerns me, but we'll have to make do. And I apologize if um, it's hard to read the text. The text on the screen is very, very small. I'm sitting in front of like a 24-inch screen and it's barely legible. Um, this stuff down in the corner, for example. Which is something, uh, is a complaint I have about the other games in the, uh, in the series, in the Endless games. Um, one of which is on the list to be in this, uh, in this, um, 
series of videos, but... Wait a minute. Okay. I thought it destroyed my module. I got scared. Um, yeah. But, but the game I was talking about requires some more exploration and time for me to really have a good sense of it, so... This is probably a really bad choice, doing all this exploration, but, um... Oh yeah, he's gonna die. Okay, t dude, time to bail. You gonna die. Everyone gonna die. Everything about this was a bad idea. Well, we lost a guy. Um, and now we gotta wait for everybody to show up and fight. Jesus. Lightweight girl is taking a lot of damage. Uh, I just spent that unnecessarily. Okay, uh, let's see if we can find the door quickly, please. Yeah, why not? You're on the team. Welcome to the team. I really do enjoy the art style. It's very, um, it's like they do some interesting things with the pixel art and the animations are really nice. Um, you know, it's not, it's not just pixel art for pixel art's sake. It's pixel art for, you know, a specific aesthetic that they're really going for, which I appreciate. And, um, Adds with all the endless games. I wish I knew the name of the dev. I'm embarrassed that I don't. Um, there is an absurd amount of depth to any any one of their games. I I was initially surprised at how much there was in here, and I shouldn't have been. I mean, that's par for the course for them. Oh, shit. Okay, just explore quickly. Just just. We're gonna do the dumb thing and panic and just make everyone ex explore as quickly as possible in an attempt to find where we need to go. Um, and we're probably gonna lose everyone as a result. Everyone's gonna die. Yep, we already lost one. We're about to lose another. Fuck. Oh, and we're gonna lose the crystal because nobody's covering it. Oh, you, no, no. Okay, this is where we end. <laughs> No, I was unprepared. Um, I did not expect to get this far. I did not build the modules required to, def to be able to defend myself this far. I was not at all ready. I didn't upgrade anyone. I did everything wrong. Some of it intentionally, some of it unintentionally. Anyway, I've really been enjoying this game. Um, I hope you guys hung around to see the entire thing through this now what looks to be 43 minutes. <laughs> thus far um it's definitely something i'm going to keep checking out um you know again and again and uh yeah i mean there the the rts aspects like kind of stress me out and it's a reason i don't play more of it um immediately but i'm sure if i'm methodical enough and that sort of thing that i can probably mitigate a lot of those factors for myself um, it's nice to have some variation from the the so-called roguelike genre. Um, I would not call this a roguelike. I hate the misuse of the term. Um, I have mentioned before that I want to make a video on that point, but I'm a lazy fucker and can't be bothered to um, sit down and write that out in the capacity needed to really address all the issues with the misuse of the term. Also, uh, I, it would be a video of just me being a pedantic prick, so um, whether that belongs on my channel or not is a whole other question. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you'll check this out, um, and uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys next time.